Okay, so this is Lookout Point on the map. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you didn't watch the last video, then go check it out. It, it was me packing for this upcoming trip. Today, me and Jake are off to America. We're going to New York State to camp in our very first American State Park. We have done many provincial parks. We have done many Walmart car parks in America. We've been to Disney Florida campground a few times, but we have never actually stayed in a state park in America. So we are super excited. It just so happened that we both had 4th of July off. So we are going to America to celebrate 4th of July with all the Americans. And we are so, so excited excited always wanted to go and see 4th of july in america i know they go ott and they celebrate in style so yeah there's nothing better than taking our little rv over to new york state and camp we are staying in letchworth state park i've heard so many amazing things about it it's absolutely huge it's got so many waterfalls there's a place to like kayak and white water raft there's hikes hiking trails, biking trails, there's like a little pub on there, there's a swimming pool, like there's just everything that you kind of need and I'm so excited. So I am putting this across two different vlogs, we're going to travel down today, set up and be there for the rest of today and then tomorrow it's going to be a separate vlog where we're there the whole day and then we travel back the day after. So we are there for two full days and one half day. We literally live two hours from the campground so it's not far at all. The biggest obstacle is going to be crossing the border because it's just been Canada Day yesterday and it's 4th of July in a few days. So I have no idea what the border is going to look like. Everyone's going to be on vacation mode. Schools have broke up. So we're going to think it's going to be a long wait. But Jake is just in the shower. He got up really early. I woke up at like 9 and he'd already packed the whole car. Like it was crazy. He must have been up so long. And it's really, really hot and humid out there today. So he's just jumped in the nice cold shower to refresh and then as soon as he gets out we're gonna go on the road now we have looked at the weather forecast there are a few rainy days evenings there's some really hot days so we're gonna have a bit of everything on this trip we bought a tv and a switch just in case we're stuck inside for a little bit but i absolutely love being in my trailer when it's raining i'm not gonna lie the sound on top of the trailer like it won't ruin the holiday so that's great yeah we're really really excited i've just had a coffee here um i haven't had any breakfast yet so we'll probably grab some breakfast when we're across the other side i'm vlogging the whole thing we need to go to a walmart to do our grocery shopping because we don't tend to take food over because if they ask and they say you say yes sometimes they do pull you in to look so we just wanted to stop that kind of process of making it any longer than it needs to be so we decided to not pack any food only really spices like salt and pepper and things like that should be getting out the shower any minute now it is currently 10 30 and then we'll be on the road to new york state for our very first state state campground let's go okay so we are literally just pulling up to the border now it's just around this corner and we are an hour and 30 minutes away from our location so that shows how close we are to the campground that we're going to jake hasn't been in the vlog yet say hey jake hi jake <laughs> he got the trailer already i actually didn't do a lot this morning because i was in bed no everything was ready when you woke up yeah I the know. car was ready to drive off the drive i know so it is currently, it says we're going to get there at quarter to one, which is perfect timing because I think check-in's at two. Three, I think. But you're normally allowed in there a little bit earlier. So we will literally have perfect timing for today. And we're going to see if the border is crazy. I'm hoping that they've got more officers on today because it is the 4th of July and Canada Day week. It just so happens that it falls literally in the same week, the 1st and the 4th. We are free. Yeah. we're here so actually guys <laughs> i actually think that's the fastest we've ever been through so there was like car sections like one two three four and they had about four or five cars and then over where number nine was which was like a few 
few clothes and then it was number nine it said autos rvs and trailers and i think people didn't realize it says autos otherwise some cars would have been there too but there was no trailers nothing so we just drove straight through she took about two minutes to go through all of our information she seemed quite confused why we're british living in canada and have an rv coming to the states and then she said have you guys got friends coming with you and we said no and she was like oh like she found it weird that we were coming to the states by ourselves but i said to jake we're kind of quite young having a trailer and being off during the fourth of july like i think she was just confused but she looked in the trailer it was all good jake had to go out and unlock it for her and now we are in america the first there's a lot of firsts on this trip guys and you know me, if you watch my vlogs, I get quite emotional when I tick off bucket list moments. So um, the first first is me and Jake ticking off a state park together first. We've never done one together, so that's like a tick. Fourth of July is a massive tick. So there's two bucket list moments right now. Yeah. And we just said the last time that we were driving in America with this trailer on the back of us, was when we went down to Florida, so we had so many great memories, so we can't wait to make more memories. Okay, so we are 55 minutes away, and we have just got to the fuel stop. It's actually quite expensive. It's $3.59 a gallon. Cheaper than Canada though, isn't it, Jake? What? Cheaper than Canada? Yeah. It's a lot cheaper than Canada, so we're glad we waited till we get here. And it is actually a 7-Eleven too, so we're gonna go in and get some breakfast, because we still didn't eat breakfast this morning. We got a coffee, but we didn't eat anything. But it's exactly 12 on the dot, and we're 55 minutes away, so we are in good terms. It's definitely a lot warmer and bluer skies here than Canada this morning, so I'm happy, I'm excited. Uh, the roads are pretty quiet, which is awesome. We were really scared it wouldn't be because of the week that we've come on. So we're gonna pop into 7-Eleven uh, once Jake has filled up and then um, we're gonna, yeah. So we have picked up our bacon I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> I haven't known. Oh, mine's a sausage off. Oh, you got a sausage one? <laughs> and we fueled up, so we just need to eat and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so apparently it's not what we thought it was. <laughs> oh, bacon and egg. I'm just going to put some ketchup in it. It smells good. And two rolls, so two baps and two hash browns came to $11 um, American dollars. Remember in America now, so every time I say a price, let's do a taste test. The most bizarre trip ever wasn't it jake oh it's surreal we went to the walmart which is literally right here i'll show you actually we knew it was going to be a small walmart because it's like tiny we went in there we knew it was going to be tiny but we're like walking around for ages we picked up some snacks like brownies and crisps and we're looking for eggs meat groceries and there was none in there like there was no, it was tiny it was the world's smallest walmart we have ever been to like we've been to the biggest one in florida and oh. that was like so we asked the guy when we were checking out with our Chris, we we're like, do you guys not have like groceries here? Like produce. produce. And he's like, no, we're like back 1980s Walmart. Like we've not been renovated. I'm like, it was quite cool. And then we it's went- It's like the way to compare it, like in the UK, you've got big Tesco and little Tesco. This is like little Tesco without produce, but sells guns 
it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there was guns there, but not food, which makes no sense. You can buy a rifle, but you can't buy chicken. And then we went to Tops, and oh my goodness, we got a car. So expensive. So expensive. For a pack of bacon, the same bacon in Canada, which is 3 99 Canadian. No, no, 3 27 3 27 Canadian. In here, 9 99 US. USD. Ridiculous. And like, if we had to just get a few bits, we would have grabbed it, but the like t we got little potatoes well, we had little potatoes and, and one pepper and that was already at 12 usd i was like no we, we're not getting it let's go to the campsite let's set up and then find somewhere closer There's to a the super set, a walmart super center we have just arrived at the first entrance where they give you this and she said go down and you will see someone to check in so it looks very well maintained <laughs> So we'll go do our registration and then check back with you guys. Okay, so. Yummy. We're gonna fill up with water really quickly here. It's weird that they told us to do it here though. Because in the Ontario part, you have- A section two fill up with water. Up, yeah. We gotta do it quick, because we're in a one way. It yeah, it's in. We're just going to our site now, but we need to top up with water, so. And you'll get <laughs> I am boiling hot though. Okay, so we're just on our way to our loop. Oh, there's some washrooms right there, and I think our pitch is literally just, just here. You got it perfect. Okay, so we have reached our pitch 516. And I actually forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, the reason we picked this pitch, uh, this park, is because it's rated number one state park of, a, of the USA. So it's number one state park. So I thought we better start with a bang. So I've just got the mat out and now I'm gonna start on getting all the chairs out and things. Um, and then I'll show you a little, a little tour. Okay, let's... Ooh, let's catch you guys up what we've been up to it is currently what time is it jake like six, ten to six. yeah ten to six so we got to our campsite and we literally arrived at the hottest point point of the day we were sweating so i didn't film us opening um up our trailer or anything just because we were sweating and then once we set up we drove to another warm-up because obviously we got nothing at the other one and it was a 25 minute drive away to a little town called i, I can't remember either it was 25 minutes away and it was the nearest warm-up like a superstore warm-up and jake's gonna look it up while i catch you up and we picked up some stuff we spent 70 usd on meat like lots of meat pass me that babe you know jake and his meat so he picked up the ribs for tonight and tomorrow and then i really fancied pork so i picked up this texas smokehouse pork and jake's gonna cook them both for me i don't think we'll need all that tonight though. No, <laughs> um, and we've literally not long got back and as soon as we got back it started raining but we spitting yeah we knew it was going to rain and there's so much to do even if it does rain so we're not bothered but we've just put the barbecue on now because we are both starving so we are going to eat a bit earlier tonight i actually do need to pee so i thought i would take you down to the toilets with us um but first of all i'm going to do you a little site tour we are staying in letchworth state park it is rated the number one american state park camping which is super exciting that is just two hours away from our house and we get to come and visit it here we are staying in plot number 516 and our neighbors aren't here right now so i can do you a full tour way system we've got there's no one in the pitch opposite us but this this is how it is so there's a pitch on one side and then there and then if you can just see through there that is actually the washrooms so that's how close we are so if you like being near the washrooms then write down this number we're in 516 and also there is a water tank just there and our lead actually reaches this far so if we wanted to fill water we could literally just put a hose through so 516 this is our pitch it is perfect size every pitch we've had this year has been huge which we don't mind because we color off with our trailer and car but this one is like the perfect size so obviously our trailer's here with our bikes on the front 
then we have an electric bit just here it is only electric it's not water and it's not um dump so it is just electric and then this is what we've set up we've just moved it in slightly because it is started to spit with rain um so we've crammed everything together and we've just put our chairs over there so they don't get soaking and we've got this fourth of july uh table throw we've got our camp stuff there and then we did have our chairs out over the campfire but we've just put them away because it started to rain um but the campfire is a little bit further away than our normal parks but this is how we're set up today i absolutely love it okay so we're just going to go to the washroom it's literally just right through here and before I get people in the comments saying why don't you use your own toilet in your trailer and your shower we do <laughs> I do this literally for you guys I go check out the toilets um, for you guys to film that is literally the only reason if I wasn't filming I would use my own toilets I just do it once so I can go and try them out for you and rate them oh there's a fly on the camera <laughs> Ooh. June till September 11 till 7 the pool. I actually want to know that. Oh, and the women's. It's the showers. I'm sorry guys, but I think I'm going to have to use the showers in uh, the trailer tonight. Those ones aren't the nicest. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the trailer to go to the toilet. I've been really lucky with showers and other campsites, um, but this one is not, not the cleanest. Okay, dinner is on. The rain has got slightly thicker, but it's still fine. I'm in charge of the veg. This is something that new that we have from Walmart. Uh, Jake picked it up for me. Charge of the veg in on top of here. I've got Parmesan and garlic seasoning. And then Jake is in charge of the meat. He's got his sausages on the go, and then he's got ribs, and then also my pork right there. Yeah. Smells delish. It does smell delish. And then we're just sat underneath the awning, and we can hear the rain. It's just so relaxing, isn't it? I already know I want to be here way longer than we already are, which is a common thing that we that we say. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Got some of that and then I've got my pork <laughs> the pork and now I'm just gonna have some beans as well just gonna get some barbecue beans guys first meal potatoes onions and peppers hickory pork and then barbecue beans Okay, so I've had my dinner and now I'm going to try these brownies. I picked these brownies up from Walmart. I've seen these in like American movies and I've never tried them. So I thought I'd give them a go because I absolutely love brownies. I really hope they don't disappoint. Ooh. I'm hoping that they're gooey. I hope they chop are chocolatey. You must get so many in this pack then. I thought it was going to be one block of a brownie, but they're literally little ones. They're so cute. Mm. Okay, so Jake is on the rib mission again today. If you watch our other vlogs, you know he tries ribs. He's tried some new ribs this time. What were they? But these are baby back ribs. Baby back ribs. They look good. They're very, they feel very tender. So let's see what the actual taste like. He's been trying to master them over the last few trips. Ooh. Oh, that one just falls straight off. These are very, very good, but don't say so myself. They look, they look like the best ones you've done. They really do. They look really good. Okay, so it is a lot later now. I believe it's like 9 p.m. Me and Jake are going to the Upper Falls. So there are some waterfalls here to go and watch the sunset. Now, we would have left a lot earlier, but we were sat in our pitch and a fellow Ontarian went past and was talking to us. He was absolutely lovely. He owns a maple farm. So we got his details. So one day we're going to go see his maple farm in Guelph, which was awesome. But we were talking to him for about 30 to 45 minutes which was nice but I, we may just be missing the sunset so we're gonna i don't know if you can even see the sunset from the upper falls so basically here is a mini canyon like a mini grand canyon 
and he told us the guy said it was absolutely amazing and tomorrow we're going to explore it a little bit more so make sure you catch our next vlog because tomorrow we're going to be exploring the whole park but tonight i just wanted to go check it out see if the sunset was there i do love looking at a sunset and we also needed to pop to the shop to get some more ice as well and that closed at nine and it's like quarter to nine now so we're going to quickly stop and get some ice then head over to the upper falls to go check it out i have no idea what to expect apparently it's absolutely breathtaking like we live near one of the one near one of the wonders of the world niagara falls so it's quite hard to beat that falls okay so we've just seen loads of deers run across there might be some more that was three then we're on our way to the falls and there was three that just ran in here you want to be super careful because they might be jumping out because it's dusk now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they're so beautiful animals, aren't they? We've just come to an overlook pass and there is a massive skunk. I don't think you guys are going to see it on camera, but it is so big. That's the like, we've seen a group of like six of them and I stopped and Louise was to go going like this, drive, 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 and oh, look, I was looking at the skunks. All the nocturnal animals are coming out. So this is the guard, guard, the, I can't even say it, the overlook. So this is one of the overlooks. In dusk. In dusk. Wow. We just came across another deer and then all of the fireflies are beautiful. There's so many. So many. We're driving back to the park now because it was getting a bit too dark to go check the waterfalls out. There's so many fireflies. But there's so many fireflies. It looks like like magic pixie dust. Yes, yeah, like it's everywhere. Like splashes everywhere. You have to be so careful driving down this road though because we've seen so many wildlife at this time. Campsite's all decked out for 4th of July. So you actually straight through to the toilet. Oh, we got some really cool campers here, decked out for 4th of July. This is what we wanted to see. Okay, so it is the next day and this is going to be the end of this vlog. If you want to see what we get up to today, which let me just tell you, it's nice and early. We're going to have a very adventurous day. Then make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell. If you like this video, then hit the massive thumbs up and thank you so much guys for watching. Like I said at the beginning of this video, me and Jake are manifesting one day that we are living on the road full time. Every comment, every like, every second that you watch my videos, I really, really appreciate it. So have a great day and today's 4th of July and we're in America and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!